Who finished first? Uh, is it me or you? <laughs> <laughs> you always win like eight to one. Oh, eight to one, guys. <laughs> I am in a happy marriage. <laughs> I hope that answers your question, Zalz. Um... Hi guys, welcome to my second vlog. And today's for today's vlog. We have our special guest. Our, she looks quite happy. Um, <laughs> um, my Afam! Wow! So, lagi yun ang tinatanong sa akin. Reveal. Afam reveal. Husband reveal. Finally, here's the Ooh. handsome Afam. Wow! <laughs> and not everyone. And today, we're gonna do question and answer for... Wow. <laughs> all right let's do this are you ready all right we're gonna start the question from marisol kim mars ito tanong ko ano maipapayo advice mo sa ibang pinay na nakapag-asawa rin ng afam or may balak mag-asawa ng afam oh marisol ask any advice from uh from us to ano daw to uh, Filipinas that are currently married and about to marry an American. Do you have any advice for them? <laughs> so my advice, uh, Maricel, for a Filipina that is currently married and planning to marry an American is be yourself, I guess. Like, they like you to be truthful. What? They, they like, um, they don't like lies. What? Like, it's red flags for Americans. So that if, like, for example, you had a kid or something, never to hide any secret, secret, secret from them. Yon, dapat ano, open book. <laughs> loyal and honest relationship with your afam. I think it applies to any other race as well. Yun ang aking best advice. Especially pag nagahan ka pa lang ng afam. Yarn. How about you, babe? Do you have any advice? Uh, sure. If you are currently apart, if you're living in Philippines and he's living here or Europe or whatever, um, Make sure you have good communication, uh, regular communication that you guys can understand each other. Um, sometimes Americans are sarcastic. If you don't like sarcasm, be honest about it. Uh, ask him what he means. If you if you're not sure, uh, don't take everything so hard. So yeah, I was like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get clarification before you're upset and get rid of it uh get rid of it um is that your message for me <laughs> no uh is that like uh, um what do you call it tempo okay. tempo get rid of it i think no tempo i think he's just trying to tell me but using you guys <laughs> I hope that answer your question, Maricel. I think this is Isel. Did I get it right? Isel from TikTok. Question number two. This is from K Marticio. Where did we meet? We met online. Online, PeterLove.com. It, uh, it's a website. So if you guys are planning, um, it's not an app. Uh, it's a website. Um, the best what's the best thing about the website nag promote <laughs> is that ano kagandahan kasi noon um it only showcase filipinas so if you guys are like looking for ano diba a fam best place to go is website that showcase just filipinas so that you get um 
a dude that looks for only Filipinas. Kanarn. Get me yarn. Wow! I hope that answers your question, K. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> um, number three. Oh, kay Roxelle de la Cruz. How do you handle problem in your relationship? Po? This is kind of hard. Well, it's the same answer. This is the answer I should have used for question number one. Yeah, because of my communication. Example. Yeah. Uh, don't take everything too serious. You have to know your partner. And the, if you're not living together for a long time, it's hard because you you have to spend time together, even if you chat a lot. This is so we're answering sort of two questions that are kind of the same here. Uh, yeah. Problem in your relationship, communicate, 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 because you everyone speaks two different languages. Okay, you're not dealing with a Filipino, and he's not dealing with an American girl. So everyone has to be very upfront with um, their issues. Uh, to go back to the first question, never mind. Yeah, because he hated me for not communicating. That's why he's just... I didn't hate you. <laughs> but you hated my traits. Like You hated that trait of mine. No. No? You, no. you love me? Mm. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Well, number four. Num so terrible. <laughs> uh, we're not used to it. We're going to get used to it soon, right? Second vlog. Chill out. Mm. Question number four. Ah, oh, this is for me from Michaela or Michaela Belloy. When am I taking my daughter here? We're already um processing the visa. We've already applied, so because of COVID, medyo naka naka delay delay yung mga boy buhay kaya ganon. I hope that answered your question, uh, Michaela. Bawal magpaampon. That's another one for the question number one. If you have children, um, communicate what you guys are going to do long term because uh, American immigration is a pain in the ass. So if you don't bring the kid initially, you're going to have some, some trouble down the road of how to do it, when to do it, what's the best time. And it's expensive. So... Uh, have that all set up and know your partner, what you want to do with, with uh, children, if there's children, mm -hmm. uh, and know what to do with the family. If you are going to send money home, he, he, yeah. he, he's going to have to be part of that decision. And if he's not cool with it, that's the wrong guy because I know you're going to, we're going to support, yeah. help support the family, uh, almost in 100% of the cases. So, um, if the if we if, if he is he's not supportive, leave. It's not gonna be a good fit. Get out. Yeah. Get out. I hope that answer your question, Michaela. I'm just gonna keep answering question number one the whole time. <laughs> so should we just end the vlog from question number one? <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna make every question about question number one. <laughs> All right, number five. Are we five? Whatever. Mm -mm. Um, this has already been asked by Cheney Pagdanganan. Where did we meet? Oh, we can just um tag along with the other question. Um, number five from Aganda ko. Paano niyo po masasabi if she na yung the one? Um, how are you? How are you gonna? How can you tell if he's the one? How can you tell that I'm the one? Mm, I don't know. Uh, that's it, that's such a difficult question. Um, just keep talking, keep talking, keep communicating. You'll you, you just know. Um, you just know. Yeah. yeah, if you are having problems. Having a long distance relationship, uh -huh. it's not gonna work. If if you're already annoyed by that person, little things, it's not gonna work. Get out. 
There's a lot of fish in that sea. You don't have to. You don't have to take like, the first dude you get. Sometimes um, a, a lot of the dudes there are, are trash. So pick 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 good partners. I I was able to tell during the first night. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Number six. Okay. Number six. Number six. I hope that answered your question, Chet. Is that who's that? Aganda. Oh. From. Aganda. Mm, that's in pics. From Michaela Caparas. Another Michaela. Gano na po kayo katagal? How long have we been together? That was um, four years married, um, but we're like six years together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start, April 2015. Start talking like 2015. I think I visit 2016. 2016 of May. And then I got here 2016 of November in the U.S. Yeah. Got married 2017 of January. Uh -huh. Pag yung mga ganun details, tinatandaan mo yun kasi tinatanong sa immigration yung mga kailan, kailan, kailan. Mm -mm. Kaya medyo tanda-tanda. Ganun. Wow! Um, this is, this is um, kind of PG, but I don't know. Uh, from Zalz Jo de la Cruz, sino ang nauuna matapos? Ikaw, ikaw o si Javi? Who finished first? Uh, is it me or you? <laughs> <laughs> you always win like eight to one. Oh, eight to one, guys. <laughs> I am in a happy marriage. <laughs> I hope that answers your question, Zalz. Um, uh, uh, Yuna or from Rana. This is for me. How did you court me? There's no such thing as courting for Americans. Like, they just talk, and all of a sudden, you guys are already in a relationship, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Yeah, there's no courting. It's not like an American way. Oh, ganarn. Huh. Rana, I hope that answered your question. Oh, Jovelin San Miguel. Are you partly Arab? Nope. Nope. German and Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, German, Dutch. Yeah, German, English. Dutch, and English. Uh -oh. He looks Arab, but hindi po siya Arab. From Taco and Dora, how do you handle Marites relatives in with a farm? Um, like, how do I handle like gossip, like nosy people? When it comes to our relationship. Well, we don't really have a relatives that are nosy when it comes to our relationship. But if we do, we've already cut ties with them. Like, <laughs> early. Early, early. Get rid yeah. of them. <laughs> learn, learn that with the people, too. Uh, when you're meeting. And before you meet. Before you meet. Um, is the family. American families are different. We're not so, so tight. Uh -huh. As a Filipino family, it's going to be weird for you if you're used to everyone uh, living together. Nobody lives together here. You're kind of on your own. So sometimes you don't have all the support. But I think um, most you'll find most of the dude's mothers are going to be perfectly acceptable of, of, of you, right? Not everyone. But, His mom. Yeah, mostly. His um, acceptable but that's part that's part of picking the right person is picking the right family and make sure he knows your family too. and uh and what was the other part of the question how do you handle nosy nosy relatives yeah yeah i i think um yeah cut ties as early as possible yeah <laughs> so if i really do have one i already stopped talking to them long time ago and I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. I don't have any. Not a, not. I don't have a relatives that's nosy. No, your relatives are super easy too. They're they're not. I mean, we never have any problems with them. It's not like yeah. Um, 
They never ask for anything. Yeah, yeah. And some families, um, especially if you're going to come here, suddenly um, your cousin's going to call and have a problem, and you have to be able to say no. Uh, or um, people from your hometown, suddenly their kids need books for school, and uh, you, 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 of course, you want to help as much as you can, but sometimes the, you gotta say no. Sometimes you have to say no, and um, you're not gonna be rich just because you're here. That's a fallacy. You, you still fallacy. Have, you still have Define bills. Define fallacy. <laughs> It's like a con. It's like, oh, you're gonna be in the U.S. You guys are gonna have everything. It's like, yeah, yeah. I know you're gonna have a ton of fucking bills too. Like, it's it's not, and 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 you don't, of course, have the support usually that if you need something, you can just run to your parents or whatever. Um, kind of on your own here. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, you, but I, I've had a lot of um, friends that that you know. They've lived here for a long time, and then there's always like a scammer back home. So um, just be prepared for those kind of situations where um, just don't let yourself get too drawn in. And, and uh, always be uh, honest with your significant other about stuff that's going to happen with money. Yeah, always talk about Cause that could be that could, it's gonna cause a problem. ahead of time yeah um i hope that answer your question um i forgot who did but yeah i hope that answer your question last question and this is for the last both of question. us yeah this is for the both of us okay we're okay um this is from laviana um a question um Questions I've never asked my husband or wife. So is there like um, a question you've never asked me? If there is like one question you've never asked me, what is it? Like if you were given a chance to ask me that question. I'll go first while he's thinking about it. Yeah, wow. What? What? Yeah. Like apart from me being hot and sexy, what makes me a trophy wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I like trophy wine. <laughs> oh, your Louis Vuitton. Oh, my Louis Vuitton. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That makes me a trophy mm -hmm. wife. All your, all your Gucci bags and <laughs> and uh, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Paraphernalia around the house. That's oh, it's too much. It's so, too many. So luxurious. I know. Like we need a spare room for that. Oops. We need a spare room for all that. Yeah. Oh, a question about you. You haven't come up with anything? No. Lame. Lame, yeah. I, I don't I would just ask. Oh, true. He's very open book that whenever he needs to ask something, he's just gonna ask me anything. Mm, yeah. Like when is the next joke? Chuck <laughs> just joke. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our Q and A. So if you still has questions, it's your fault. You didn't drop it from the first blog. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe, follow, and whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's our second time. Give us a break. Thank you, guys, once again and. Bye.